What's up guys, Heking here bringing you a quick movie review on Dune. Am I saying that right? Ignore the background noise, that is Loki playing with whatever. <laughs> so yeah, I just got done watching this movie and um, it, am I the only one that feels like this movie was overhyped? Or was there any hype for this film at all? I, I, don't, I don't know, like, um, I feel like there was, or at least when it came to the uh, nerd fandom that there was hype for this film. Uh, Loki, 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 stop, he's trying to get out the door, if I let the door out, he's just going to come back and scratch the other side, okay, that's it, I'm here, you're going to sit in my lap, yeah, you are, Ugh. Alright, I'm back again, and yeah, little buddies are my, in my arms, cradling, mm -hmm. Say hi to the camera, Loki. Wow, his nails are really sharp, they're going into my lips. Anyway, I just got done finishing watching Dew. Dune, Dew, Dune, Dune, uh, Dune. This is the, um, the, the 2021 movie, by the way. This is not the original film by David Lynch, or the TV series, which... I've never seen, I've not seen any of these versions, I don't really know anything about Dune, I've not read the book, so this was the first time watching this movie and going into this, and yeah, um, I'm pretty disappointed with this movie, um, I don't know what it is, I went into this thinking, oh this is going to be like the uh, sci-fi Lord of the Rings, and I came out of it just going, wow, this was very generic as hell, like, very generic, like everything from the music by Hans Zimmer, which is so disappointing. Like, don't get me wrong, there were a good few moments in the score and that, but uh, it's so overused. Sort of like how like movie trailers overused the Inception uh, trombone sound, like doom, doom. It's like that's what the soundtrack for this movie felt like. It was just a constant, repetitive repeat of the same noise that we've been constantly hearing. And uh, there's, you know, the, the cinematography, I want to say the cinematography was good, but even that felt uh, generic. I didn't like the cinematography in this movie. It didn't grip me. Uh, I swear to God, I feel, I feel like this is just a personal thing and a, nit, a nitpick when it comes to me. But like, ever since watching Skyfall and Blade Runner 2049, I've just been spoiled by uh, Roger Deacon's cinematography. Like, nothing comes close to that kind of, to the cinematography he does for his movies. And yeah, the cinematography for this was just like, yeah, whatever. Like, it's done by the guy who did Rogue One and is doing the Batman at the moment. And um, yeah, I was, I was left pretty disappointed. I mean, special effect wise, you know, the special effects, as you'd expect, they look good. They are good. Uh, there's, there's these vehicles that they use to fly, right? And I thought those were really freaking cool in the film. The sandworms, when you do see them, are pretty cool, I guess. Um, but the story itself just felt very generic, like... I, I can't really say much without spoiling it, but I mean, if, I guess if you've seen the trailers, but performance-wise, it was fine, but like, a lot a lot of the characters went in this movie that you could, like, Oscar Isaac isn't in this movie a whole lot, uh, Josh Brolin isn't in this movie a whole lot, uh, Jason Momoa was, was a cool part in this movie, don't get me wrong, but then his role is also really small, the villains are hardly in this, Dave Bobista, uh Stellian Skazgard as the Baron, Pretty cool visuals uh, and look for what they give him, but like, they're hardly in the movie. We don't really learn a lot about them, sadly. And the Emperor that keeps getting mentioned, the Emperor, the Emperor, like, it's, pr it's pretty much them pulling a Star Wars here. And I'm wondering what came out first. Did Dune come out first, or did Star Wars come out first? Because if, 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 if this came out first, like, if the book for this came out first, then I could see how Lucas got the inspiration for, like, the shadowy Emperor behind the scenes, right, and building him up until we see him in the sequel. And that's one of my problems with this movie, is that this entire film is just sequel bait, essentially. Like, like you get all these little flashes to things, right, that will obviously happen in the sequel, and it's just a constant, constant reminder of that. It's like, ooh, look what's going to happen in the sequel. Ooh, what, what's this mean? Ooh, this is going to be a sequel uh, Easter egg or a sequel cliffhanger treat. And that's what it felt like. And it was just, it, it got really annoying with the constant teasers. And it's like, it, it basically got to a point where it's like, I'd rather see that film than what I'm watching right now. Um, I mean, the first off was pretty, was pretty decent. Like the build up to, to what's going to happen to the uh, Australia's family. 
and then obviously the whole second half of the movie just feels like it feels like a lot of people said this movie isn't action packed and they're sort of right it isn't really action packed um but there is action in there there is action in there but it feels very small scale to what you would expect from a movie this grand because this movie does feel like it's going to be grand and big and then it, it doesn't. The whole second half really just feels like a... Like the whole last hour just feels like a chase sequence, basically. And then it wraps up in the most anticlimactic way. And, and I get they have to do that in order to sell the sequel. But like... For... for I, I, like Compare this to Fellowship of the Ring, right? And that was hype. You know, that's a movie you can watch and you're like, Wow, this was, this was great. Like, this had the action, this had the adventure, but obviously it's setting up for more to come. It's not over, the story's not done yet, the characters' arcs aren't resolved. But what we got was like, yo, that was amazing. And you watch this and you're like, oh, is that all that it amounted to? Like, wow, that was, uh, wow, that's just, okay. Um, when's part two coming out? Yeah, that, that's what it feels like. It, it, this is just this very feel, this very feeling of like, Whatever, like, and that's really disappointing. I really wanted to like this film, but it just didn't work for me. And yeah, Loki, see, Loki's so bored, he wants to just get out of this review because it's it's as boring as the movie was, <laughs> uh, which is a bloody shame. I really wanted to like this film, but it, it didn't grip me. The characters didn't grip me. I wasn't really emotionally connected to any of the characters. Too much exposition. I mean, usually I'm into these kind of films, but like, I don't know, it's just, it, nothing was really explained. And... Even if it was, it just, I was just like, yeah, okay, like, you know, keep, you know, let's, give me some things, you know what I mean? Uh, and that's not to say there aren't any cool moments, like I said, there are cool moments, you know, anything to do with the flying vehicles that you get and the sandworms are pretty cool. But, um, yeah, I, I don't know what it is, maybe, maybe I just wasn't in the mood to see this movie, um. Uh, or, may, or maybe I knew that there's a, there's a better film coming out maybe later on. And this is just like, because that's what it is, it is just like a sort of introduction, it is just like build up, it is just world building essentially, it's just set up basically. But even movies with set up have done a better job than, than this one did. Um, it just feels very empty, uh, in a weird way to say, I think. I think that's the white rotten user, just, it feels like it's filled with things, but really it's just, it's empty. <laughs> sort of like the desert that we have in this movie. Um... Yeah, um, yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty disappointed. Um, but what I give, a, I'm not even gonna bother giving a score to this movie because, like, it is an incomplete film. Uh, unlike, unlike, like, unlike the Lord of the Rings trilogy, where I can watch each film by itself and and love the hell out of it. This is the type of movie where you 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 need to see the next part to see how it all comes together. Um, because as a standalone. It just doesn't work. It really, really doesn't work, and that's a bloody shame. And I, I get, I get, it, I do. But the biggest, the biggest concern right now is if, if we're even going to get. I'm, I'm assuming at any point now we're going to get the announcement for a sequel. I mean, we're we're, we're pretty much. Uh, or the director was assured that there would be a sequel, but you never know with these things. It could be one of those cases where the movie doesn't do well enough, and then and then the studio will be like, "Yeah, we're, we're not doing a sequel." But I think we will. I think we will get a sequel, but. It's just a case of how long do we have to wait until we get it and see it and then we can like watch it all together as the epic grand sci-fi epic it's meant to be like. Because it's clear as day that's how you're supposed to view this movie. It's supposed to view it as one long film. And, and I get the comparisons to Lord of the Rings that are going to happen as well. You know, Lord of the Rings is like that. But what I'm trying to say is that at least with Lord of the Rings it's structured and was filmed in a way where it's like you can have fun with each part. With this I didn't have any fun. I'm watching this and I'm just like... I just... You know, okay, that you know what I mean. Like that's the feeling I got. Just this empty feeling of like, yeah, I don't, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. <laughs> and that's pretty much all I can say here. Um, sorry to say, sorry to say, unfortunately, sorry to say. Anyway, guys, Loki's getting annoyed. <laughs> Poor thing. You can see him. Can you can you see him? Is that in the way? <laughs> I'm gonna open the door for him now guys as always remember to like and subscribe and I shall see you when I shall see you guys yeah take care and uh, bye